Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 Beginners video series on MSFT webcast. This is the fourth part of multi-part mini video series on how to configure multi-site Active Directory infrastructure with Windows Server 2022. This is our test lab which we are using in this video series. Let me tell you what we have in our multi-site Active Directory infrastructure. We have two Active Directory sites, Surat HO and Delhi BO. We have two domain controllers in Surat HO site and one domain controller in Delhi HO site. In the previous video, we also checked the replication between all three domain controllers which was successful. Now, Let's try to understand how Active Directory Replication topology works and what are the components of Active Directory Replication. Pause the video and take a look at this image first. As you can see, Active Directory Replication involves various components such as KCC and ISTG. First, let's try to understand what KCC is. The replication topology is generated by the Knowledge Consistency Checker, a replication component that runs as an application on every domain controller. The replication topology is the network of replication connections between domain controllers and it determines how changes made on one domain controller are replicated to other domain controllers in the same domain or in the same Active Directory forest. The KCC manage replication between domain controllers in a single site by using automatically generated connections. The KCC reads configuration data and reads and writes connection objects for domain controllers. Keep in mind that the KCC only uses RPC to communicate with the directory services. The KCC will automatically create separate replication topologies based on your intra-site and inter-site topologies. It also dynamically adjusts the topology on a periodic schedule. The KCC runs every 50 minutes by default or it can be triggered manually using the wrap admin slash KCC command line utility. If the KCC detects a problem in the replication topology, it will automatically attempt to correct the problem by creating or modifying the replication connections between domain controllers. In summary, the KCC is a critical component of Active Directory replication and responsible for automatically creating and maintaining the replication topology between domain controllers. The next component of Active Directory replication is ISTG. One domain controller in each site is selected as the inter-site topology generated, also known as ISTG. To enable replication across site links, the ISTG automatically designates one or more servers to perform site-to-site -site replication. These servers are called bridgehead servers. A bridgehead is a point where a connection lives or enters an Active Directory site. The ISTG creates a view of the replication topology for all sites, including existing connection objects between all domain controllers that are acting as bridgehead servers. The ISTG also creates inbound connection objects for servers in its sites that is determines who will act as a bridgehead server. The ISTG uses information about the site link cost and available bandwidth to determine the optimal replication paths between Active Directory sites. By default, the first DC in each Active Directory site is the inter-site topology generator. Remember, the scope of the operation for the KCC is the local server only and the scope of operation for the ISTG is a single Active Directory site. The next component of Active Directory replication is DSA. Directory System Agent is a directory service component that runs as an anti-DSA.dll on each domain controller. The DSA is a part of the Local System Authority LSS subsystem. It provides an interface for services and processes like KCC to read the directory database. Next we have EAC. 
the extensible storage engine is a database engine utilized by active directory domain services ESC is responsible for managing directory database records which may contain one or more columns the directory replication service rpc protocol used to communicate replication status and topology to a domain controller RPC is an industry standard protocol for client server communications the kcc also uses this protocol to communicate with other kccs to request error information when building the replication topology the three domain controllers in the diagram create identical views of the domain controllers in the site it will also generate connection objects on the basis of the current state of active directory data in the configuration directory partition in addition to creating its view of the domain controllers in its respective site the kcc that operates as the istg in each site also creates a view of all servers in all sites in the forest from this view the istg determines the connections to create on the bridgehead servers in its own site a connection requires two endpoints one for the destination domain controller and one for the source domain controller the domain controller is creating an intra site topology always use themselves as the destination endpoint and must consider only the endpoint for the source domain controller the istg however must identify both endpoints in order to create connection objects between two other domain controllers thus the kcc creates two types of replication topologies intra site replication and inter site replication in the next video we will understand difference between intra site and inter site replication and also configure the bridgehead servers in each active directory site that's all for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day